Hello, and welcome to the Advancement Awards. Thank you for being part of a very special celebration of these extraordinary Miamians and friends of the university. We are thrilled to have this opportunity to recognize the achievements and service of this year's honorees. And we are so glad you could join us. It is a privilege to honor such a special group, from students to alumni to individuals so loyal to Miami, they're often mistaken for alumni. They inspire us with their enthusiasm, their generosity, and their leadership as they show what it means to be a member of the Miami family. Now, let's start with our first honoree. The spirit of philanthropy honors those individuals who exhibit a lifetime of engagement in philanthropy and make a significant impact on Miami University. Steve has done that and so much more over the years. Renata Crawford is here to talk about Steve's connection to Miami. Steve, your work as chair of the Miami University Foundation Board of Directors was invaluable during an uncertain time. You provided a steady hand that helped guide us through the uncharted territory of a global pandemic. You display true leadership during your tenure and your love and honor for Miami is unquestioned. As part of a Miami merger with your wonderful wife, Jane, Miami is always part of your life. You've given us your time and your talent, and you've served our students in other ways. You and Jane are steadfast supporters of scholarship because you know how important they are to helping others live out their dream of a Miami education. You're quick to help students in need, and you were gracious in donating to our Emergency Needs Fund to aid students in times of crisis. You are also sure to honor your Western program roots with your scholarship for individualized studies. You have long worked to make Miami a better place, and for that, you will always have our gratitude. I can think of no better recipient for this year's Spirit of Philanthropy Award. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you for this wonderful recognition. I am both honored and humbled to receive the Spirit of Philanthropy Award from Miami University. I'm honored that the university and the advancement staff would consider me for the recognition and humbled in recognition of all the individuals who share their time, their talent, and their treasure supporting Miami University and our students. I've enjoyed the privilege of serving on the Miami University Foundation Board working closely with our professional and dedicated staff of advancement and fellow board members who are equally as committed to enhancing the experience of students at Miami University. I am grateful for this recognition, but more grateful for the opportunity to serve. Love and honor. Thank you, Steve. Our next award highlights an exceptional faculty member here at Miami University. Our students are fortunate to have such innovative and dedicated mentors to learn from. And our next honoree exemplifies the commitment our educators always make. Please welcome Brad Bundy, Senior Associate Vice President of University Advancement to tell us more about this innovative and distinctive faculty member. Glenn Platt is receiving the William Holmes McGuffey Award, given to a Miami faculty or staff member whose impact extends beyond the traditional parameters of education. Glenn started his career at Miami in economics, but in true Glenn Platt fashion, his role quickly evolved with the advent of the internet. Glenn's interest and talent helped bring current technology into Miami. There is no, this is the way we have always done things with Glenn Platt. He is constantly innovating and constantly progressing, and he's brought the university along with him. By listening to his students, other faculty, alumni, and more, Glenn develops programs and curriculum that are relevant for today and for the future. 
More than 350 students have benefited from Glenn's San Francisco Digital Innovation Program. He created the Armstrong Interactive Media Studies Program with Mike Armstrong, which led to the Emerging Technology and Business and Design Department, one of the fastest growing departments on campus. Glenn's foresight and expertise have made a major impact on our students and the university. Miami would simply not be where it is today without Glenn. Miami is fortunate to have Glenn's leadership, drive, and knowledge providing these opportunities for our students to succeed. Congratulations, Glenn. The difference between foresight and hindsight is that hindsight comes with an understanding of context. That's what we do as professors. We don't just provide information, we provide context. And it's for that reason I'm particularly honored by the alumni recognition represented by this award, an award that's provided in hindsight. You know, the context of the Miami experience that we all share isn't defined by the borders of Oxford. It's part of who we all are. We take it with us wherever we go. I meet Miami alums all over the world and every person to a person, it's as if we all still live in the same place. That place is the context of what it means to be a Miami alum. I am privileged and honored to be in the company of those who've been nominated and have won this award in the past. I am grateful to those who've nominated me for this award, and I am lucky to have the support of a wife and family in all that I do. As I look back on the only career I have ever had here in Oxford, in hindsight, I am more grateful every single day for the rich experience that I get because of alums like you. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. I know I speak for all of us at Miami when I say I can't wait to see what's next. Our next award is the Dave Roberts Award, which recognizes a Miami faculty or staff member who constantly goes beyond expectations and service to the Division of University Advancement. I can think of no more deserving honoree for this award than Ted Pickerel. Brad also has a few words to say about Ted. As Tom said, there is no one more deserving of the Dave Roberts Award than Ted Pickerel. Ted, you have worked tirelessly as the liaison between university advancement and the president's office. And as secretary of the board of trustees, you are an invaluable link as the point person between the board and our donors and alumni. But more than that, you are a true champion of Miami. As a donor, your scholarship provides stability for our students. And as a parent, you have raised two Miami graduates. And as a member of the Miami family, you have engaged with all of our campuses and our university is a better place because of it. Thank you for all that you do, Ted. You make all of our jobs easier. I'm greatly honored and deeply humbled to receive the Dave Roberts Award. It has long been my privilege to work with so many wonderful, dedicated members of the Miami community. I view this not as an award to an individual, but one to the many partners across our campuses who consistently go above and beyond to serve our students, alumni, faculty, and staff. On behalf of the many devoted and steadfast colleagues I've worked with through the years, particularly those who support the president's office, Debbie Mason, Kathy Squantz, Dawn Cirillis, Amy Winchell, Karen Moss, Kim Cooper, Diana Winnick, Gillia Smith, Sheila Theobald, and our many remarkable student workers. I thank you for this incredible honor. I would also like to recognize my family and their constant support through multiple cross-country moves and the many times when the Navy called me to sea before we eventually settled in Ohio as members of the Miami family, a family they also embrace and support. So much so that my wife Dawn, daughter Allie, son Christopher are all Miami alumni. Thank you again for this award. Thank you for welcoming my family and me into the Miami family. And above all, thank you for allowing me the great joy and privilege to serve and advance Miami University. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. Our next award is going to a pair of deserving honorees.
During the 100 plus years the Western College for Women was in operation as an independent university, the college developed its well-deserved reputation as a forward-thinking leader in education. Western was the site of the Freedom Summer Training of 1968, and the Spirit of Western College Award pays tribute to its enduring social justice legacy and honors those who carry it forward. It is in that spirit that we honor David Saylor and Rob Hendricks. Here are President Greg Crawford and Dr. Renata Crawford to talk more about these honorees. David and Rob, we are thrilled to honor each of you with this year's Spirit of Western College Award. A progressive, diverse, and multidisciplinary organization, Western College was ahead of its time. This award recognizes initiatives that advance education and human values at the local, national, or international level in the area of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Miami has tremendous respect and admiration for everything Western stood for, its history and its traditions. David, your work in the realm of diversity, equity, and inclusion with intercollegiate athletics is making your department a leader, not only on our campuses, but throughout the entire Mid-American Conference and NCAA. Sport can often act as a unifying force that brings people from all arenas together to achieve the same goal. Since arriving at Miami, David has advanced our goal of graduating champions. Miami has won three straight Cartwright Awards in the Mid-American Conference, which is given to the university that best meets the criteria of excellence in academics, athletics, and citizenship. You continue to push Miami forward in the areas of academics, competition, and community service. We are delighted to produce student athletes who are leaders in the classroom, in their respective sports, and in the community. You are a big part of that. Our student athletes take those lessons of leadership, teamwork, integrity, tenacity, and an unwavering commitment to DEI and apply these values to their lives and careers. They are champions in life. We are thankful for the positive influence you have on so many Miamians. I wanna thank everyone at the Miami Alumni Association and all those involved with the Spirit of Western College Award. It's truly an honor to receive this award, but I do so on behalf of all the wonderful people here in Miami Athletics and all the great people I get to work with here at Miami University. Thank you. Thank you, David. Rob, the work you are doing through your He Is Me Institute is so vitally important. You recognized the need to increase the number of black male educators and you took action. You're empowering and providing opportunities for young black men to realize careers in education. We see the work you are doing and the impact and positive change you are making in our communities. As a student at Miami, you are already making a difference. In 2011, you received the President's Distinguished Service Award as an effective campus leader, teacher, and mentor. It was clear, even then, that you were determined to make the world a better place. The He Is Me Institute is working to chart a path forward for generations of Black youth. You are inspiring and encouraging them by introducing the possibility of teaching as a career. When I consider the values and enthusiasm of those who called Western Campus home, I see you carrying on the same passion and commitment for transformative change in our place and time. We admire and are inspired by the work you do, and we are excited to see what the future holds. I am beyond humbled to be selected as a recipient of the 2021 Spirit of Western College Award. As a former resident on the Western campus and a campus tour guide, I understand the deep history of this award and the honor to be associated with it. Like the alum of Western College, I've been committed to social justice since undergrad and that commitment has not wavered. As an educator, I experienced and witnessed the unique power that black men have as teachers. Unfortunately, I also noted that schools and colleges struggle to engage black males as early as preschool and throughout their careers. My response was to launch a nonprofit that infuses the skills, tools, 
and connections necessary to equip the education ecosystem with the resources they need to recruit, retain, and retire black men. This is the least that we could do for our children, especially our black boys. I'm proud to be able to not only continue this work, but to spread it across the nation. And I'm even more proud that my alma mater, Miami University, has deepened its commitment and recognition to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Thank you to all of those who have contributed to my growth and who have supported me along the way. And thank you, Miami University, for this wonderful honor. Thank you, Rob and David, for everything you do. Our following award recognizes some of the extraordinary students we have here at Miami. Our Student Philanthropist of the Year Award is given to a Miami student or student group for demonstrating leadership by supporting or implementing a fundraising program. We have Lindsay Stewart, Chair of the Miami University Student Foundation, here to talk about her fellow students. Congratulations to the Glee Club. You certainly embody the values of Miami University and are deserving of this honor. Your annual hashtag Move in Miami campaign sets a strong example for other student groups to follow. You have fostered a culture of giving throughout your organization. This year's effort was your best yet. You raised a record amount and easily surpassed your goal of $20,000. Nearly 150 gifts came from individual donors, showing just how connected members remain to the Glee Club, even after they graduate. You also started a new tradition in Love and Honor Day. With many concerts at the Knolls of Oxford and around campus, you graciously raised proceeds for the Oxford Community Choice Pantry, now the Talon Lawanda Oxford Pantry, and vibrant emotional health. There are many success stories in the Glee Club, and your hard work and dedication ensures there will be many more for years to come. Your generosity and commitment to giving continues to motivate students, alumni, and friends of the university. Thank you for being the role models you are here at Miami. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Carter Callender, and I am the president of the Miami University Men's Glee Club. And I'm Casey Noon. I'm the treasurer of the Men's Glee Club. And we just wanted to reach out and share our appreciation and immense gratitude for being honored with the Student Philanthropist of the Year Award by the Office of University Advancement. The Glee Club is deeply dedicated to fostering a community of giving, especially with our work with the Move in Miami campaign. This year, we once again surpass our goals for fundraising. Absolutely, and we share this award with our immense and widespread alumni network. They're critical in helping current university students and current members of Glee Club really form that culture of giving. So, as always, uh, thank you so much for this honor and love and honor. Thank you all. It is heartwarming to see that philanthropic spirit from our students. Speaking of heartwarming, we now have a special musical performance graciously provided by the Glee Club. Please enjoy.
That was fantastic. Thank you again to the Glee Club for that wonderful performance. And now on to our next award. First awarded in 1936, our next honor is named for Miami's first president, Robert Hamilton Bishop. Please welcome back Miami President Greg Crawford. Each year, the Bishop Medal is given to individuals who have distinguished themselves in service to humanity. Dina Chisholm has dedicated her life to the service of others. Dina, you hold many titles. You are an educator, a researcher, and a leader in healthcare. And above all, you are dedicated to improving the health of children growing up in at-risk communities. Your caring comes from understanding. You strive to inform and improve in your work as an epidemiologist. From your time at Nationwide Children's Hospital to your teaching at Ohio State University, you always endeavor to make the world a better place. Your life's work has been widely recognized. You received the Nationwide Foundation Endowed Chair of Health Equity Research and Governor Mike DeWine appointed you to a task force to examine why African-American Ohioans are disproportionately affected by COVID-19. Your expertise, your voice, and your dedication are essential tools in the quest to enhance the effectiveness, efficiency, and equity of pediatric health care. Thank you for your commitment, for your service, and for your important and meaningful work that you do. Dina, we are honored to call you a Miamian, and I am delighted to award you with this year's Bishop Medal. Good evening, and thank you to the Alumni Association for this exceptional honor. Looking at the list of previous Bishop Medal awardees, I'm humbled and merely speechless. The Bishop Medal is given in recognition of service to humanity, and a piece of humanity that I think about every day as children. As a health services epidemiologist, my personal mission is to ensure that every child has an equal opportunity for maximal health. My specific job is to carry out the research that shows what works for our children, especially those at greatest risk, and to be the voice of that research and that data in rooms where decisions are made. During this COVID era, I've had the privilege and the responsibility of being a voice for health equity in data, in policy, and planning for community outreach, testing, and vaccination. Along with many others, we made a difference. My time at Miami through my academic program and my student involvement allowed me to gain the tools that I use in my service every day. And carrying this award forward, I will redouble my efforts to serve our littlest humans. Thank you to my colleagues for joining in the work, to my husband for putting up to me, and to this association for this special recognition. Thank you, Dina, and congratulations. Our next award highlights engaged young alumni. The Gamby Award is given to an alumnus or alumna who has graduated in the past 10 years and demonstrated exemplary service to the Alumni Association. Cheryl Young, Associate Vice President of Global Initiatives, joins us to tell us more about Beth. Beth, you have been a leader not only on our Oxford campus, but also abroad during your time in Luxembourg. We were lucky enough to have you with us as the featured student speaker when we celebrated 50 years of the Miami University John Dolleboy European Center. You eloquently delivered remarks in Luxembourgish, expressing the university's immense gratitude for our relationship with Luxembourg. You stood out as a leader during your time abroad. While serving as co-chair of the Student Faculty Council, you organized activities for students and their host families, as well as a fundraiser for a local refugee student center. In 2019, you deservedly were recognized for your efforts with the President's Distinguished Service Award. Your bond with Miami has only deepened since graduation. I know you are as excited as we are to celebrate our 55th anniversary in 2023. You are always happy to connect with fellow alumni and you continue to make an impact on our current students, whether abroad or here at home. Thank you for your enthusiasm and your hard work on behalf of Miami. You truly are one of the best examples of how crucial young alumni are to the university. Congratulations, Beth.
Hi there. My name is Elizabeth Full, uh, class of 2019, and I am here today honored to accept the H. Kenneth Gamby Young Alumni Award for my work on the MUDEC Alumni Advisory Board. As most of you know, MUDEC is Miami's flagship study abroad program in Luxembourg, and I was actually a student there in fall of 2018, and I have just so enjoyed the experience of being able to give back not only to my university, but to a program that means so much to me, and then again to the students that are going to take advantage of this program now and in the future. This award means the absolute world to me because it just goes to show that whether you're the youngest person on the board, the newest person on the board, or the least qualified person, or you feel like you're the least qualified person on the board, what you do matters. What you do giving back to students is going to shape their futures and their education, and there is nothing more rewarding than that. And this award is just such an honor to receive because it makes me feel that I'm going out and doing just that. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for honoring me with this award. Thank you, Beth. Now on to our next award, Spotlighting Philanthropy. The Young Philanthropist of the Year is the highest recognition for an alumnus, alumna, or other friend of the university under the age of 40 who has made a noteworthy impact on Miami or supported or directed fundraising for a specific major university priority project. David Saylor, Miami's Director of Athletics, is back to tell us more about this year's recipient. Cynthia, I know you have many fond memories of your time at Miami from your involvement with Kappa Alpha Theta, to your walks around the campus, and the many sporting events you attended. It's uplifting to see you've remained so committed to Miami. The university and our students will benefit from your generosity for years to come. The new field turf at Jaeger Stadium will provide yet another step in the ambitious renovations of our athletic facilities. Crucial improvements like this are a powerful incentive and tool for recruiting and are a visible symbol of our commitment to prospective student athletes. You are also committed to providing students with the best Miami experience possible. Your scholarship speaks to your desire to make certain that experience is in reach. And as an advocate for mental health, you are dedicated to ensuring our student athletes receive access to the necessary services to maintain their mental well being. It's inspiring to know you want to provide others with such opportunities, but it isn't surprising to see such generosity and kindness. Your family has been steadfast supporters of Miami since your days as a student. Thank you, Cynthia, and congratulations. Hi, I'm Cynthia Arnholt, and it is an honor to receive and accept the Miami University's Young Philanthropist of the Year Award. Miami University has enriched my life so much, so it is a privilege to give back. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. It is always wonderful to see our young alumni keep such a strong connection to the institution. It is inspirational for alumni of all ages. Our next two honorees are so entrenched in the fabric of our university that many think they must be alumni. There is no better time than now to make that official. Since 1958, we have awarded honorary lifetime membership in the Miami University Alumni Association to individuals who serve Miami and the Alumni Association as loyally as any alumni. We are so excited to be able to welcome not one, but two individuals into the alumni family today. Joining us now is Mackenzie Becker Rice, Assistant Vice President of University Advancement and Miami Class of 1999, and Brad Bundy, Senior Associate Vice President, who was awarded honorary alumni status in 2013. Congratulations, Chris and Cindy. We are honored to be able to share this occasion with you. As an honorary alumnus myself, I know the special feeling that comes when you're officially part of Miami's alumni base. Chris, as Dean of our College of Arts and Science, you are the lifeblood of Miami University. You lead a college that features captivating courses, engaged faculty, and inspired students. CAS cultivates passionate and talented students 
who go on to create change in the world. We couldn't list all of the ways that you've served, promoted, and honored Miami. You've been a member of the faculty, chair, dean, parent, and donor. This is more than just a job for you. You've been part of the essence of the university for more than 30 years. You work to make a better, stronger Miami. You've served us well in university advancement too, as a featured speaker at Winter College and in official capacity at other alumni outings. And you've even attended some of those events just for the fun of it. Now you can do so as an alumnus yourself. Congratulations, Chris. We're thrilled to have you. I'd like to thank the Miami Alumni Association for honoring me with this, this very humbling award. I've been at Miami for 32 years and I've experienced it through many different lenses as a faculty member, as a parent, on the road as dean, listening to the many stories of our, of our alum, alumni. I feel their passion. I, I know what a special place this is. And so to, to know that the Alumni Association considers me worthy of joining the, the Miami family is, is a, quite a humbling experience. I, everywhere I go, I, I hear the stories, I, I hear the excitement, the, the days gone by, the, the lives lived here. And I, I feel like I can, I can tell that story myself. And so in, in many ways, I, I sort of view myself as an alum, even though I, I didn't go to Miami, because I think I can be a very strong salesperson and advocate for the university. So it's, it's very humbling and, and I'm honored that others feel the, the same way because um, it's been a great pleasure. Miami's given me a lot and I'm, I'm glad that I could give a little bit back to Miami. Thank you again for this award. Thank you, Chris. As Brad said, it's fantastic to have you as part of the alumni family. Cindy, you've been an integral part of advancement since you started at Miami in 2002. And I am so honored to play this small part in awarding you honorary alumni status. You really are the face of university advancement for so many people. As assistant to the senior vice president, you are synonymous with this office. At Alumni Weekend, you are a constant presence in the Welcome Center, greeting our alumni and giving them a pleasant start to their weekend back on campus. If anything ever needs done, you are the first to volunteer. You are also the last to leave, but only after you've made sure everything has gone according to plan. As the parent of two Miami graduates, you have seen that side of the university too. And I know you are proud of the work we do here too. And I hope you know, Cindy, that we are just as proud of you. Thank you for all you do, Cindy. You make us all look great. I'm truly honored and humbled to accept this award. It means a lot to be honored by a university that has given me more opportunities than I ever expected and has had an amazing impact on both my personal life and professional career. I've had the privilege to work alongside and learn from so many talented and dedicated people here at Miami. It's very special to be a Miamian. I thank the Alumni Association for this honor and will forever hold Miami University in my heart. Love and honor. Thank you for everything, Cindy. This Honorary Alumni Award is just a small piece of our heartfelt appreciation for all you do. Our next two awards represent Miamians who have gone above and beyond in their service to the university and to the Alumni Association. Please welcome Kim Tavares, Executive Director of the Alumni Association. The John E. Dollaboy Award is named for Miami's first full-time alumni professional and is presented to an alumna or an alumnus who has served Miami in a distinctive fashion for many years. I can think of no one who fits that description better than Steve Snyder. I'm actually surprised he hasn't already earned this award. Steve, you like to tell people that you came to school at Miami and you never left. And we are extremely grateful for that. You have worn so many hats at Miami, from your time as director of the Shriver Center to your work with conference services and community relations and as executive assistant to the president. 
You even had not one, but two stints as an interim athletic director. You have been just as active in the community as a member of the Oxford City Council, as mayor, and through so many service opportunities, it's difficult to list them all. Steve, you know everyone, and everyone knows you. Like this award's namesake, you have been a model Miamian and a wonderful ambassador for the university and for Oxford. Long after graduation, you continue to serve Miami with honor and dedication and we thank you for everything you've done. One of the first questions asked of me when I found out I was receiving the John Delaboy Award was, what did the award mean to me? I knew, I knew Mr. Delaboy and I have the utmost respect for what he did for Miami University and I'm overwhelmed with this honor. This award reminds me of what Miami University has done for me and our family, and also how we pay forward our Miami opportunities and experiences and follow the Miami values we all learned. My wife, Deb and I are both first-generation college graduates. I had a wonderful professional career at Miami. Deb is a Miami graduate who had a wonderful career as a middle and high school teacher and administrator. Our oldest daughter is a Miami graduate and is an optometrist in Greenville, North Carolina. Our younger daughter is a Miami graduate and works for the United States House of Representatives in Washington, DC. All four members of the Snyder family volunteer our time and talents within the communities in which we live. Paying forward and trying to make this a better world is a Miami value we all practice. One of my favorite Miami slogans is, to think in such a place I led such a life. Thank you, Miami University, for my education and experiences. Love and honor. Thank you, Steve. Our next honoree is the very deserving recipient of this year's A.K. Morris Award, which honors a member of the Miami faculty, staff, alumni, or friend who carries on a tradition of service to Miami's alumni family and the Alumni Association. And this year, we are very happy to bestow this honor on Ben Vadila. Ben, you have been one of the most active members of our alumni chapter network in your work with our Cleveland chapter. The success of the Cleveland Golf Outing, year in and year out, never fails to impress us. And you have been the driving force behind that outing. 10 years ago, you created the outing and in that time, it has raised more than $65,000 for the Cleveland Scholarship Fund. We are very appreciative that you are always eager to further the mission of the Alumni Association and so incredibly generous with your time. The fact that you are so active as an alum is no surprise, given how active you were while at Miami, including your study abroad in Russia and London and your time as a university senator. We truly appreciate your willingness to share the love and honor even after you've graduated. I know our alumni and students in Cleveland appreciate it too. I am humbled to be selected as a 2021 AK Morris Award winner. Thank you all for being here with us virtually, hoping 2022 allows us to return to a bit of more normalcy and in person for next year's event. It's an honor to have our work on the Cleveland Scholarship Golf Outing acknowledged by the Miami Alumni Association in this way. Quite a bit of effort and time goes into pulling it together each year, and it feels good to have so many alumni join us each year for the golf and camaraderie while we raise funds for the Cleveland Scholarship. I'd be lying if I said I'd done this all by myself. Several others have had a big part of the success in this event over the years and deserve to share in the award. A big thank you goes out to Joanne Harper, Emily Lefevers, Amy Barter, Alan Dangler, Tim Osborne, Dante Fioca, and Mike Leonakis, and all of our sponsors for their time, effort, and input over the decade. I'd like to extend a debt of gratitude to my much better half and my merger bride, Ashley, and our three girls for their assistance and patience uh, with me during the planning phase of the event each year. 
Last but not least, I'd like to thank the Miami Alumni Association for appreciating what the Cleveland chapter has been able to accomplish over the past decade. As we look to eclipse 100,000 in funds raised in the coming years, we hope that we're setting an example that inspires others to find a way to make a positive impact on the Miami community and drive engagement of alumni and students going forward. Looking forward to gaining even more momentum with this event each year and hope to see you all out on the course in the coming years. And once again, thank you to the Miami Alumni Association for this kind recognition. It is very humbling. And thank you for your time and have a wonderful holiday season, everybody. Love and honor. Our final award is the highest philanthropy recognition a Miamian can receive. Those who receive the Philanthropist of the Year Award go above and beyond in advancing Miami as a force for good in the world, past, present, and future. Miamians have benefited from Rick Ludwin's generosity for decades, and they will continue to do so for many years to come. We lost Rick in November of 2019, and it was way, way too soon. Rick was an incredible Miamian who achieved extraordinary success in the world of television. Rick's stellar track record at NBC is well documented. He was a vocal and important supporter of Seinfeld, which became a worldwide phenomenon. He rose through the ranks to become an executive vice president for late night and primetime specials, overseeing such programs as The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, and Saturday Night Live. Rick's love for Miami is equally documented. Each fall, Rick would return to campus it was his favorite time to be in Oxford, and he would meet routinely with students, sometimes answering so many questions he would become hoarse by the time they were through. Rick was a mentor and an advocate for Miamians, and his legacy at this university will be remembered. In March 2019, the TV studio in Williams Hall was renamed the Rick Ludwin Studio as a tribute. Rick's generosity didn't stop with just his time and his talent. He endowed a scholarship in honor of his own Miami mentor, Professor Bill Utter. He was instrumental in Miami's Inside Hollywood program, and he donated memorabilia to the Walter Havinghurst Special Collections and Archives in Keem Library, including several Seinfeld scripts and digitized copies of Studio 14, the variety television show he and several classmates worked on while here at Miami. When he died, Rick left Miami $10 million to support the Richard A. Ludwin Media and Culture Scholarship. Even now, Rick is still making sure to support the students who follow him. Rick will never be forgotten. We are thankful, humbled, and overwhelmed by his kindness. Please enjoy this video tribute to Rick Ludwin. It's really fitting that we're sitting here in the uh, studio that was named for Rick Ludwin. Uh, Rick was an extraordinarily generous person uh, to our department, most importantly to our students. So it's really fitting that Miami uh, designates him as the philanthropist of the year. So one of the things that I loved about Rick, uh, I think a lot of people know this, but he came back here to this studio maybe not all 36 years, but he came back 36 consecutive years as an alum to talk to the, to talk to, to our students and our, and our faculty. And uh, very generous with his time. He would, students would line up to talk to him after he gave a talk. I remember one particularly on the influence of politics, the influence of late night on, on politics. I think that was in probably 2016. Uh, he took, Students would line up. There'd often be 15, 20 students. He'd talk to each of them. Uh, he was very generous uh, uh, talking to students who would want to go and intern. Um, I remember he, he would, I said, I have a student who's interested. He said, Get, give me their email. I'll talk to them. I'll tech, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm happy to email with them. Rick also helped us get our Inside Hollywood program together. He made sure we always had a marquee speaker, almost always it was Conan O'Brien. Rick also contributed to uh, a scholarship fund 
that made uh, it possible for some of the students to do the program who otherwise wouldn't have had the means to do it. And that program has been a game changer for a number of students who made the connections, got excited about working, uh, the idea of working in Hollywood. And so Rick's impact on those students, along with all the students that he provided scholarship help uh, during his life, uh, is extraordinarily impactful on our students. And that impact obviously is going to continue with his bequest to Miami. Rick, Rick felt, uh, he was incredibly loyal to Miami. He felt like he had a great education here. He did a lot of hands-on stuff. I remember uh, we had a number of conversations when after I, after I came here and WMUB had been sort of professionalized and he grew up in an era when our public radio station was uh, uh, an educational opportunity for our students to work and new radio. Uh, Rick cut his teeth on that. Uh, I think our library has uh, some early television Rick did um, called Studio 14, I believe it was called. And you can go in our library and see some of the collection that, that Rick has left, much of it from his student days here. There really is quite literally no alum who has come through our program that has or will probably ever have uh, the impact on our program, the impact on our students that Rick had. Thank you for watching uh, Studio 14. We appreciate it very much. I hope uh, we'll see you again soon and until next time. Bye-bye, Miami. Thanks a lot. Rick, thank you for everything. I want to thank everyone involved who made this year's Advancement Awards a reality. These honorees have made a true difference at Miami, whether there's been through service to the university, enhancing the Miami name nationally through their accomplishments, or supporting the school with a generous gift. They are a testament to the values that Miamians embody. On behalf of University Advancement and everyone at Miami, I would like to extend my sincerest gratitude to this extraordinary group and those who make Miami a better place for all. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this program. Love and honor.